Hey, Hedebees. Good morning. How are you? <laughs> I'm getting ready to see my friend for breakfast. So the goal today is to do something pretty simple. Um, something feels like a little bit effortless. I really don't know what I'm about to get into, but I'm also going to be wear testing the About Face Foundation. And yeah, so I think that's it. I really don't know what I want to do for my eyes. I might just do the Surat Souffle Eyeshadow. Well, let's start with complexion. I've been conversing with my friends about this foundation, and I'm the only one who seems to get this very, like, wet-looking finish. So I'm going to try a different primer today. I'm going to try the Victoria Beckham primer today. It isn't golden, so it might, like, alter the appearance of it a little bit, but I'm mostly concerned about, like, the foundation looking wet on my skin as opposed to it being, like... A little bit darker because I'm wondering if it's the Bobbi Brown but like the Bobbi Brown has never really greatly affected the finish of a foundation for me but I also have been doing my foundation right after my skincare which I don't always do so that could be maybe one of the reasons why this keeps happening to me so I'm going to see a friend who I know from college We've been on quite the journey together as, as friends because we met in the second college I went to. I went to five colleges. It is a feat for it to be the second one because that's pretty, pretty early on. Oh, I don't even need this. It snowed a lot. I feel like I'm taking public transit, so it should be fine. But it is just like, I haven't looked outside quite yet. And my friend who I'm visiting, she lives really close to the restaurant we're going to. I'm, I'm the one who's like trekking it across the city. Probably is just walking to the restaurant, although it is cold. She lives far enough away that she might choose to just drive. We met the second college I went to. We had really this, the fact that we had a class together at all, the fact that we have found each other as humans, it's pretty much a miracle. So the college I went to second was Point Park University. And Point Park University is known for like two of their programs. One is their journalism program. Their like communications, you know, department is pretty big. And then they also have a conservatory of the performing arts. And it's a, a well-regarded conservatory. It's like a whole thing when you go there, like you have to take... A conservatory class because it's like their big deal uh, they're not like it's like I didn't have to take a dance class or anything like that but it was like you had to like learn about art because <laughs> Copa is conservatory of the performing arts so we called them the Copa kids she was a Copa kid she also did like a I think a PR or some kind of journalism minor and like if you're not well versed in the, the realm of it still looks really wet <laughs> we'll give it some time to dry down but like even with the try down, I meant to wash my hair today. I just sure didn't. I'm gonna add a little more right here to see if we can build a little coverage. Just out of curiosity, not because I'm concerned about it. Yeah, that built coverage pretty well. Okay, so we had this one class together and we, the class that we had together, <laughs> it was with this professor who was just like notoriously, she worked in print journalism and she was in charge of the honors program and like she was just a lot she like wanted everyone to be a journalism major like anyone who was in communications that didn't want to be a journalist were just kind of like stop trying to make me <laughs> stop stop trying to make me be a journalist i don't want to be a journalist leave me alone we ended up in this like intro class together and <laughs> the teacher did this thing where she like decided that like, I don't know, kind of assigned us personality traits. I don't think it was a very good thing. So my friend, she talked about yoga once and then my teacher decided that my friend was like a yogi. The teacher also took yoga classes and so she would talk to my friend about <laughs> yoga classes every day and my friend was like, I take yoga like maybe once a month. <laughs> and then I said something about glee in one in one class and it immediately i was like labeled faggot in this woman's mind i mean she i want to be very clear she never called me the f slur um but when anything relatively gay adjacent came up she'd be like tom <laughs> that's what we call microaggression by the way i'm talking about it from a queer perspective but that's what that is 
in case you weren't aware. I laughed at it, but you shouldn't be doing that to people. It's not endearing. It's funny to me, but it's not funny to everyone. And you shouldn't do it to me. You shouldn't do it to anyone. But obviously there's larger context. Why am I talking about this in this video? I think you understand. I'm going for a light beat. I'm gonna use Fido Surgeon's bronzer because I'm not really looking for like something super bronzy. Um, I might try a different brush with it. Let's try this brush. It's like pretty dense. Oh no, that's not the one I want. I want this one. And then she moved to Chicago. And then I moved to Chicago and she worked at this bar that no longer exists. So I feel completely comfortable talking about it. She worked at this bar called Cuba. I don't even remember which part of Chicago it was in, but she worked at Cuba. We did $6 pictures of sangria. And I would go every Tuesday, I would get a picture of sangria and I would hang out with Aaron. If they were super busy, I wouldn't hang out all night, but like oftentimes I just like hung out there till close. Like what else was I doing? I was like living in Chicago, <laughs> going to school there with no friends, except for her. And then she was really busy. Like she's a dancer, like she'd be busy all day. And then she like that work was like kind of the only time I could see her. I think when we both lived in Chicago, we saw each other outside of the context of her work. I, I don't even know like it's so few times that we saw each other and then like in the summertime which I guess this is I guess I would I think summertime is like kind of when summertime or like late spring would be whenever you would try to get into like d like to get into a dance group <laughs> listen I'm speaking I don't really know all of the ins and outs but like that that was like the vibe for blush today I do want to use something new uh, it is from Lukey Lukey, and the owner reached out to me. It's a very small, I think he's Irish, but the company's based out of Spain, but you can buy them in the United States. And the only product that the company has right now are these blushes. So they're called the Dream Cheeks. And I've only been played with one. No, I played with two on my face. I've been, I've been liking them. So I think I want to throw one of these on. So far I've used... Blossom Bloom, which is like actually not really a color I usually reach for, but it looked really pretty. And of course, I'll show you my favorite and you're not gonna be surprised at all. It's this shade called 1111. It's barely a blush <laughs> and I probably will wear it today since we're kind of keeping it low key. A lot of these shades are a little bit brighter. This is Beret Berry. And then this is Cosmo Flash, which is like a beautiful bright pink. I love these cute little packages. I'm gonna put 11.11 on my face. This one has, I think they all have like a slight shimmer to them, but this one has like a very de definitive <laughs> shimmer particle in it. So I'm gonna apply it. It's not a very strong color and I believe if you had a deeper skin tone you probably could just wear it as a highlight. Like it has some pigment to it. It's just such a vibe. It's like kind of a sheer version of like Mimi or Inner Glow. It's not quite as like a special shade as either one of those two, but it's like lighter and like much shimmerier. Like look at that, like look at that gloss effect. I don't know enough about them though, like I'll pay attention today to see if they set down. If I had to guess, probably not, but I'll keep you posted. She lived in Chicago for a long time. So like I moved back to Pittsburgh and then I would I would go and visit, you know, a couple times a year to Chicago, not specifically to see my friend, but like she was there. I think I'm gonna skip, I think I'm, I'm gonna skip highlighter today. I think I'm gonna skip it. What time is it? 7.48. Sometimes I uh, just, I think I'm going a lot slower than I usually do. And then it's just like, you're so ahead of the game. I'm a person who's like chronically on time, like in a way that bothers people. And I don't know what that is, but I'm, and I, I've learned as I've grown that like we all perceive time a little bit differently. I learned that through Tiff, who would be very open about like having ADHD and like time just works differently for them. And I think it also works differently for me, but like in the opposite way where like I have an extreme need to like be on time sorry there's something about this foundation it loves to get caught in my pores on my forehead it's a bit of a bummer i'm like not having the best experience with about face foundation and i'm i'm sad about it i will spray my face at the end i'm gonna do a little bit of under eye pow like powdering with the other charlotte tilbury powder 
she moved to like Tennessee for a bit. Like she got a dance job in Tennessee. She worked down there for a bit. I never got to visit her in Nashville. And then she moved to New Hampshire, which was really funny. I graduated from Southern New Hampshire University. Um, she came to my graduation and then she ended up like living up there. It's pretty funny. This year, she, this past year, she moved to Pittsburgh at the end of summer. And um, we, we like see each other like at least once a month. Although it, we fell off a little bit in like December, which I think is fairly common. Like, that's just, like, a bad month for us all to see each other. Yeah, I think I am. I was like, maybe I should use something new, but I don't want to use something new. I want to use something I know about. And I'm going to use Nuage d'Argent instead of Pluie Mauve. I just want something that feels, like, a little more simple. I am going to still prime my eyelids, though, with the NARS. Because these hold up okay, but they need a little bit of assistance for my oily eyelids. So now we're back. We're reunited. And it's really cool. She, like, has found like a small community here of people that like she knew back when she was like going to school here and um yeah it's it's just really nice to have her back in my life like it feels really good like we are the type of friends who like we don't like before she lived here it was like we don't talk often but when we do we just like picked up right where we left off and it never felt like we had missed a beat so oh you know what I might also I have ideas. I have ideas. I also want to do something else a little bit different with the eyes. But I think starting here will be pretty good. But yeah, it's like, you know, I'm on this journey this year to like see my friends more. But like, Aaron kind of was like the kickoff point. We like, we, when we see each other, we plan our next time seeing each other while we're together. It's worked out quite well. So it's like, we're, we're getting brunch and then we'll plan our next meeting while we're there. And then we also, like I get my hair cut in the neighborhood that she lives in. So normally if I'm getting my hair cut, I'll be like, don't know if you're around, but if you are, I made my hair cut. So if you want to hang and we've, you know, we've done some bonus hangouts. So it's been quite, quite lovely. It's been just really great to have her back in the city. I have warm feelings about it. Oh, here's something I can tell you, because I'm gonna I'm about to use one. As you know, I have some Victoria Beckham liners. I bought two more, and the reason I did is I'm going to someone's birthday next weekend. I can't believe I'm actually really <laughs> I actually am I am I'm surprised. I'm not even saying that to be like coy, like, oh my god, I don't have friends. Is that this person, it's like we this is sequin green. I feel like there I'm I'm I've lost the plot a little bit. Hold on, I can't use those. I can use this as a compact. Um, oh no, I can't. It's so filthy. It's filthy. It's filthy in there. <laughs> he invited me to his birthday, but like, I would say like, we talk so rarely. And this is actually the second time I've been invited to his birthday, but not consecutively. I got invited to his birthday in 2021. Oh my God, this mirror is also filthy. When Kaki was here, she looked at my, the mirror that I used down here and she was like, how can you even see yourself? And I said, the point is that I don't. Anyway. We're going to this, oh well, I'll, I will po I'll be posting this after this event has happened. So we're going to see, we're going to uh, Jellyfish. Jellyfish is like a, a local like DJ group and they do like queer like nightlife once a month. And I've never, I've never been to one of their events. And that's what my friend wanted to do for his birthday. That's what we'll be doing. So I'll be doing a get ready video for that as well. So last time I got ready with you, I really kind of knew what outfit I was going to wear. Today I don't really know what I'm going to wear. The reason I don't get dressed with you and like make decisions on camera is because I'm actually getting ready for something and I, I don't have time to be like trying to like talk it through and like be a camera personality so yeah i just added a little bit of sequin green which is a shade i don't really use that often from the victoria beckham liners i might i'm gonna do one more layer you know i'm, I'm not trying to do the most but i also want a one more layer one more layer i also need a tight line i probably won't use the sequin green for that though i'll use cocoa so we're doing this like dance party thing not dance party i don't want to call it that it feels like that's like demeaning what jellyfish does jellyfish like makes like 
very proactively queer spaces. You know, they go to queer spaces, but they also like, that's the whole point is that it's supposed to be a safe space for queer people to like dance. So I'm looking forward to it. Also, you don't have to be queer to go to their events, by the way, but like it, there's like a, a big no, no tolerance policy on um any like, you know, kind of fuckery, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Like they, if you start a wreck it, ruckus or if you like do anything hateful to anyone not just queer people but like anyone you'll be thrown out not that i think any of my followers would be following me if they were going to be someone who would step into a queer space and disrupt i believe in you i trust all of you that you wouldn't do that i need to do a lip i'm gonna use where's my mascara back to the victoria beckham liners so we're going to this thing and I wanted I wanted to do like more dramatic makeup than I usually do which in the video where I'm getting ready for that I probably will talk a lot less because I'll be very focused at least on the eyes I might do like oh you do graphic liner I thought about buying adhesive gems I've been talking about this a lot and this is something I don't feel like this was a a whim purchase I've been thinking about buying cinnamon and the black from Victoria Beckham, the eyeliners, and cinnamon came back into stock, and I happened to check when it was in stock, and so I snagged them both. I've not, I've never had the formula that cinnamon is in. I have the sequin formula in sequin green, which is what I used on my eyes today, and then I also have used like the matte ones, but I have not used like the. I don't know what they're called. I think they're just like the satin formula maybe I know they're all satin kajals but I think that formula is like it's called something different than the other two I probably am just gonna do a gloss on my lips a clear candy glaze or do I want to do 14 we'll do 14 and then I am gonna spray my face because it's looking weird on my forehead so anyway, I bought the black liner from Victoria Beckham finally, so I could at least use it in my waterline. I wouldn't use the Victoria Beckham liners for like a truly graphic look, so I just really wanted it for like smudging and just like deeping, being able to deepen out things with a black. Cause cocoa's pretty deep, but I want some, I'm, and ash is also pretty deep, but I really wanted something much more deep you know um tiff and i get our hair cut by the same person and they went to get their hair cut a couple nights ago and when tiff came home <laughs> they were like uh christina is her name they were like christina has a hairstyle they want to pitch to you um but she did say she has to pitch it to you and i said that doesn't sound good for either of us christina really wants me to have a rat tail and I said Christina no I am gonna try the queer mullet so essentially what my vision of that is it's gonna be the same up here and the sides will also be buzzed and then it will come down and then the mullet will be like back here and it might be a little bit longer in the back but I still want the sides to have that fade to them and then she was like, maybe we could do a disconnect, meaning that it would just be like the bottom hairs would be the mullet, but there wouldn't be like any of the, the hair on top, like growing into the mullet. And I said, no, she was like, Tom, I really want to turn you into like the alternative. And I said, baby girl, that just ain't me. I am going to go pick my outfit. Now, I realized I did a close up on my purse the last time. <laughs> oh, we did this and you all really liked it. So I, I'm new to the purse game, so I don't have very many. It's gonna be the same purse, but that's okay. And that's another thing. We live in the real world where we don't all have an abundance of things. And it, it, I love that purse. And I don't think it's so crazy that it doesn't go with everything. But I have this problem where I try to look cute and the other person I'm with doesn't not try to look cute, but like doesn't dress up and then they feel as though I'm trying to outdo them and that's like not really it. It's just like I want to look cute. And so since I'm doing it for me, I'm going to continue doing it for me. 
Um, I need to pick an earring. I have a lot to pick, so you'll see it. And then I'll take some vlogging footage for you of uh, where we're going today. We're going to the Nook. It's like um, a breakfast place in Lawrenceville. And um, it's one of those places where like it doesn't take reservations and it's not super fancy, but it's really popular. Like there's normally a line if you're not there on time. I've only gone twice and I've been there both times right when it opened because I got my hair cut right before. Um, we are not going right when it opens today. So we'll see. Oh no, oh it's, okay, dear me, to me. I need to take start time footage for this foundation. Okay, up, if you are new here and you aren't subscribed, you wanna subscribe, we'd love to have you subscribe. Uh, but the rest of this, no talking, just music, just vibes. Okay. <laughs> 